Charity from the Adventure Geek and this show is all about the Camino. Yeah, it's great reading books on online forums, but it's even better to hear the real stories uh, from true pilgrims and that's what we're going to do today. In fact, um, I'm talking to Ted who I met in, I think it was 2016? Is yes, yes, there. yeah, two years ago. <laughs> it Pretty was. this time, two years ago. It was, and yeah, and all the photos are coming up on Facebook at the moment from like two years ago, which is fantastic. Um, but we met you on our second Camino, which was when we walked from Estella to Carry On de los, de los Condes. Um, mm -hmm. Ted is like a, a real character. He's one of these guys that just kept popping up every now and then <laughs> along the Camino, whether that was... Um, do you remember when you kept doing that on Burgos when we was on the train? Oh, I would never forget it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing that I really do love about you is your love of life. Um, and I think you. that's been with you before you walked the Camino, but whether that was probably enhanced when you did walk the Camino, that's something we're going to find out. Um, uh -huh. You're a natural with photography as well. We're going to talk about the <laughs> photography side of things. Um, Thank and, you. And obviously you're a tour guide by trade, so perhaps that's probably where we're going to start, is just saying, you know, where you're from, um, what you do in your day job, and, you know, does this, did the Camino have a bit of an impact in your day job at all? Um, yes. You know, first of all, um, you know, I live in Vancouver, but originally I, I come from Taiwan, a small island in Asia. And as you know, my trade is a tour guide. I'm in... Uh, tourism industry for for many years and you know working Camino means a lot to me and uh, uh, something quick when I come back after I come back from Camino on the trip to the Rockies I, I take uh, group tours bus tours a lot so whenever I have a chance I play my 20 minute video to my passengers I want them to know I want them to know what Camino is People have to know Camino, the existence of Camino first. Then they, they can serve. They can search something about Camino. So I want more and more people to, to walk in to know Camino, what Cam Camino is. And that's, that's what this show is all about, because I feel the yes. same. You know, we just need to tell the world about this magical place, you know? Yes. So, okay, so how, how did you hear about the Camino in the first place? Okay, uh, it was... I would say like a 20, 2014, like four years ago, 2014. Okay. Uh, one afternoon, I, I, I watched uh, the video, The Way. The Way. Uh, I, yeah, I, I just found it in, by accident. I didn't know what, what is going, what's going on. And when I, when I was watching the, the TV, I was actually in doubt. Is the movie uh, based on true story or just a fiction. So when I was when I was watching, I also surfed the internet. I also Google <laughs> what Camino is, and surprised me. A lot of stuff just you know kept popping up from internet, and I know wow, there is a way called Camino, and not only is <coughs> Camino is existing, existing, it's also walked by by like hundreds and thousands pilgrims every year. That truly, truly really surprised me. And uh, later on, I sp uh, spent a lot of time uh, studying what Camino is, when is the best season to, to walk. And I told myself, I told myself, geez, you know, I, I've, been, I've been hiking, I've been loving hiking for, for many, many years since, my, since, um, since I was a teen. Okay. And, and after the movie, the several, uh, several month, uh, several month after I watched the movie, a friend uh, came to visit me in Vancouver, and she she mentioned Camino to me. Why? Because she had done Camino two years ago. No. So I, so I thought, you know, I, I, I you know, I asked her some questions. Actually, a lot of questions about Camino, and and you know, after her explanation, after. Uh, after I learned from her, I had uh, I had a clear picture about what Camino is. So right. from from that year, 2014, I told myself one day I will be on the road. And then you was October uh, 2016, so a couple yes, of years later. Yes, so definitely. are you? What are you like with planning? Did you plan a lot of it? Are you a spreadsheet oh. type person, or did you just see where it takes you? 
Oh no, shame on me, you know. I didn't, I didn't study well. I didn't study every detail. I'm not a person of planning everything in advance. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though, uh, isn't it? You know, um, very easy for me. I was busy until the day before October 15th. I finished my last trip <laughs> on that day, and about a month before, I had my wife to book a flight ticket for me. So when, once I finished my last trip, I flew to Madrid. Actually, I, I had no idea. <laughs> uh, I, I did book the train from Madrid to Pamplona, but after Pamplona, I had no, no idea how to get to St. John to the port. And even the last bus, the last bus was canceled, not canceled. Let me see, they rescheduled the winter time. Uh, okay. They were no, no bus running from, from Pamplona to St. John. John to the port. And I was, I was, you know, I was sitting at, I was sitting at the bus station and thinking where to go, you know, how to get there. And, and, and two guys from Israel, uh, to a couple from Israel, uh, they also got to the same place. They would like to go to St. John Peter Paul as well. Uh, okay. And so we three, we took a taxi, we shared a taxi from Pamplona all the way to St. John Peter Paul. Yeah, and so that's I, that's what the Camino is like. You just get yes. talking to people and you hop in a taxi with complete strangers. That's true, that's true. But once you meet, once you talk with them, you become friends in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, eh? And also, when I got to St. John Peter Paul, I didn't know where to stay. Okay. A lot of unknowns to me, which is the best part of my adventure. Absolutely. And, you know, I think... I think I probably spoilt it for me because I read every forum going, you know, I, I knew more or less everything about the Camino before I went. And oh, is that right? Yeah, and I think, <laughs> I think that probably spoilt it a little bit. And I think now looking back, I'd much rather have your sort of adventure. Mm -hmm. so. That's why I, I, don't, I, I didn't book any, any hostel or any burger in the vans. I know I can stay... I can stay wherever I, get, I got to, eh? I can stay uh, whenever I, I, I want to stop whenever I, I could. So I think this is the, my way of traveling. I don't, I don't plan, <laughs> still I don't plan, I don't make detailed plan. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, I wanted to, um, obviously we'll come back to some other standard questions, but I wanted to ask you, because obviously you then got the Camino bug after you finished the Camino French route, um, mm -hmm. and then you, you went back for more. <laughs> mm -hmm. and when, yes. when was that was that last year November, November 8th okay so 2000 so 2016 in October you did the mm -hmm. French route and then November, November 2017 uh, you did the Portugal the Portugal Camino Portugal okay and was that from yeah. was that from Lisbon or was that from Portugal yes yes I, I no I, I flew to Lisbon um you know for me, it's long distance to Europe, long, yeah. very long distance to, to Camino, to San Diego. So when I have a chance, whenever I have a chance, I want, I want to, to start my Camino from very beginning of, very beginning of, of the road. I don't want to, I try not to, to, to walk it halfway or just a portion of it. Okay. So I want to finish every one, every, the whole trip. So I flew to Lisbon on uh, November, uh, on November 8th, and uh, I got there, San Diego, on the last day of November, November 30th. Right, okay. Mm. And was there a big difference? Did you see a big difference between, because you went similar times of the year? Yes. Oh, huge, huge, huge. difference. Okay. Huge. In what, in what okay, way? let me tell you. Okay, go on. Wow. Uh, I got there, and before I went to for Lisbon, I, I assumed, I assumed uh, everything would be similar to French way. Surprise me is in my first week of walking after Lisbon, I didn't see any pilgrim walking walking along the way. Not even one. Oh, just one. For one guy whole, for a whole week. For a whole week, I didn't I didn't talk to anyone, any any pilgrim except one cyclist from from Norway. A guy from Norway. Uh, he was riding bicycle. He was cycling to. To San Diego, and give me some time. After I after I departed from Lisbon, I got to a small town. I could I couldn't pronounce the name of the small town. 
I had nowhere to stay. The only alberga, the only hostel, they don't have, they don't call it alberga. Uh, the only hostel was closed for the season. Okay. Um, and I, I was wondering where should I, where should I go to spend overnight? And someone, I asked someone, and you know, even on Facebook, on the guidebook, it, it says, uh, go to Fire Hall. Fire Hall? Okay. Fire Hall, the fire station. Okay. Wow. So I went to, you know, I went to the, the, the only fire station and I went inside, knocked on the door and asked them, do you guys take pilgrims? And they, they do, they do. Whoa, jeez. So when your I, first night was in a fire station. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Just, you can't believe it, eh? In French way, not, not such a thing to stay at a fire station. <laughs> and they were they there were at least the twenty or twenty four beds inside. Oh, okay. They got hot they got hot water, which is very essential, right? Yeah. They got hot water and I'm I ask them how much should I pay? They 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 say nothing. They don't take anything, not even donation. Oh really? And yeah, on my second on my second on my second day, I went to another small town and also not even a hostel, no air burger there. Um, this time, I went to church and knocked on the door of a church, a cathedral. Uh, a priest came out, and we, we, we couldn't communicate because that priest and the sister didn't speak English at all, not even, not, not even very, very best single word. Okay. And the priest showed me the watch, six o'clock, six o'clock. So I, 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 understood, I understood what he meant. And he would like to me go back there, the church by six o'clock, uh, six o'clock p.m. So I had one hour of time. I went out for a cup of coffee and returned to the cathedral by six o'clock. Uh, he he was de 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 uh, delivering a mass, and after the mass, the sister took me to to a house, a, a house where they they put the pilgrims pilgrims at. And though I couldn't. You know, exchange or communicate with the sister. The sister uh, was abs um, was absent for like ten or fifteen minutes. When he, when she returned, she you know she brought me a pot of hot soup, some fruits, some cheese, and some other food. Wow, it was so touching, you know. Blimey. And I I remember I spent three nights at fire halls, fire stations, and one night outdoor on a patio of a restaurant because nowhere to stay. Oh, so different. Wow. Oh, so totally different. But um, I was not used to it at first. Um, uh, at, 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 um, in the first few days, but after, after four or five days, I really, really love it. It's so good to talk to myself, you know. It's so good to, to communicate with the, the nature. Totally different from, from, uh, from French way. If I have a chance to walk, to the World Camino again, uh, I think I would I, I would take um, I would choose like a like a Northern Way or something some like some trails less less pilgrims. I, okay. I do enjoy that kind of like solitude. solitude. Yeah. yeah, solitude. Yes. So, so it, was mm. it not was it not lonely? Um, at a, at the beginning, yeah, I, I felt so, but after a few days, um. I think I, I'm, I'm used to it. You just embraced um, it and... Yes, yes. Not, uh, after a few days, I don't feel lonely at all, not at all. And after Porto, um, there are more pilgrims showing up after Porto. So it, but still, the number of pilgrims on, on a Camino of Portugal is far less, far less than French Way. On French Way, it seems everybody is having party every night, eh? Yeah. But not, not in Portugal one. Yeah, that's that is so true. I must admit, I've I've done the French Way and I've just done the English Way in the Camino mm -hmm. Inglés. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. And that's very very quiet as well compared to the French Way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so you don't you didn't see you don't meet many pilgrims, eh? I did yeah. There's probably yeah, but not like loads and loads, like four or five that are constantly with you sort of thing, mm -hmm. like, like, a, a like a little family. 
but um, not like not like there was on. I mean, there was a whole group of us, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. Um, I see. On the French way. So, anyway, okay, right. Let's uh, let's carry on with these questions. So, you watched the film The Way, and then your friend mm-hmm. said to you, "She'd just come back from the Camino." Yes. Do you think you was looking for something to do? Uh, I mean, you, you're you're married as well. Is that not? Yes. How do you? Yeah, you know, that's a long time. Like for you as well, coming all that way. That's what five or six weeks. Yes, for thirty-four days. Yeah. Thirty-four yeah. days. So you, you have. I, I don't know. If, you've got children. Yeah, yeah. I got two. You got two. They don't right. care. They don't talk to me. <laughs> so I don't. Have to. <laughs> I don't have to look after them. <laughs> they are they are actually grown ups. Yeah, so I, I, I mean that was <laughs> we all thought you just left college because you look so young. It's just oh. like and you're always smiling. So I oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're very kind. <laughs> <laughs> so so was the was the Camino both of your Caminos everything you thought it would be? Did you get a lot out of the Camino? Uh, Yes and no. Yes and no. I know the distance. I know it's it's not difficult. Uh, from I myself, I hike a lot. Um, I I I I always hike a local a local trail called a Grass Grind. It's two point nine kilometer long trail with eight hundred and fifty three meter in elevation gains. Okay. So it's it's pretty tough. So I walk that trail quite a quite a lot. Um. Therefore, I'm. Um, I don't mind the long distance. I don't mind uh, even the hills uh, of the Pyrenees mountain. But one thing I didn't, I didn't take into consideration is the weight of the backpack. Okay. Oh jeez, that was the young. I, 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 I could imagine uh, after carrying like a 13 or 14 kilograms of backpack and the walking. Walking after 20 or 25 kilometers, geez, that weight really, really killed me. So that's the, to me, the first two weeks was the hardest, the hardest part of the, my whole trip. <laughs> I have to, to get used to it physically. That's, did that's you ta- the did thing you, I... Did you take anything that you thought you should have left behind? Did, did I remember, do you have a, a really nice camera, like a heavy camera? Um, no, no, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Did you I, I used my phone. I used my phone uh, for everything, for videotaping, for, for taking pictures. Okay. Um, but recently I got a new phone because I was prepa- I, I, I'm preparing for my next Camino. I would like to, to have some nice, nicer shots. <laughs> right. Where are you going? So are you, when? Are you- uh, probably not by the end of the year, if I'm lucky. Um, I would like to take it by maybe February next year. Wow, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I'll watch out for those posts of you saying you're going. <laughs> <laughs> so, so talking about photography then, so you definitely had a, an eye for photography. Uh, I'm going to mm-hmm. mention the doors. Now, you took some photos <laughs> of, on the Portuguese, I was watching it on Facebook, and yes. I was like obsessed waiting for your next update. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, he's like, "Where's Ted?" And when you didn't, when you didn't post for a couple of days, I was thinking, "Oh my god!" And I was looking for the photos of the doors. Now, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what's the, what? What made you take photos of doors? Okay, um, I myself, when I when I was in college, I was uh, my major was industrial design. So I myself, I like uh-huh. beautiful stuff or any any designs. So those doors. You know, in, in Europe, every cafe is different. Every door is different. I can see the intention of the designers or, or, the, uh, or the workers who made, who, made, uh, who made those doors. So those doors, to me, quite interesting. They are beautiful. Not only I, I took the pictures of the doors, but I also, I also uh, took the pictures of the ground, the gravels, yeah. uh, or the trails. <laughs> he so, did. Um, and also, um, I, I think um, for a city, not only the buildings reflect the city itself, even the doors, the designers, the roads, even statues could reflect the spirit of a city. So that's the, the really, 
um, not only walking Camino, I also walk Camino as my my Saturday trip. So I want to get, leave some memories about the, the, about everything I I had gone to. Okay. No, I mean, mm. if there's um, there's one thing that I want to do. You remember? I can't remember the name of the place it was now. We was all really tired, um, but there was a castle up on a hill. Mm -hmm, and we was all mm -hmm. tired and we just didn't go and it's one of my biggest regrets and you was the only one who says i'm going anyway and you went up yes, and you took yes. loads of photos of this mass this wonderful castle and then we just never got an opportunity because the next was the next day and we was walking that's that's right i was the only one walking up there and uh, i took some pictures from above um I can't it, it's okay so it's a bit it's, that of course that castle is uh, it's abandoned yeah it's abandoned yeah and um, i think it was actually I, I, on halloween was it on halloween night or something uh, like that i remember so there was this really abandoned castle up on a hill mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere uh, on yeah, halloween I, could, I couldn't remember the name of the city we we stayed we shared the same a burger that, that night right yeah I and I think it was where we did the wine thing, you know, the guy That's with the right. wine. Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really like a restaurant is in a cellar, eh? We're turning, turning a long bean, wood bean. Yeah. Me and Julia, Julia we were turning the long bean. And the guy and was we also went down to the cellar. That's right, with, with Bubba <laughs> trying, to, trying to, you know, big Bubba trying to get in those little holes in the, in the yes, cellar, which was yes, quite funny. Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, it, it was it was a nice place, one of a uh, beautiful memory. Um, so why why we're talking uh, about the Camino? Let's talk about food and drink. Well, speaking of the food, I I, I myself I'm I'm very easy about foods. I'm not picky, um, but I, I do because I have been to uh, Spain for several times before Camino. I I always loved Spanish foods. I always loved them. And before I left, uh, before I departed for Camino, uh, for French, French way, I told my I told my wife, when I go there, I would like to have a lot of wine and cook, and coffee. Coffee, I'm yeah. Big, I'm a big fan of coffee and wine. And so every morning, you know, we always had some coffee con latte and uh, and what else and the croissant. Even croissant satisfy me a lot. You know, I enjoy I enjoy every croissant. I have a stomach of bread. I like bread very much. I actually, I, 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 I love everything. Um, of all meals, I had the first meal in, in St. John, Pedroport, uh, surprised me most. Yeah, what was that? Uh, yeah, um, because I had no idea where to stay. I, I simply followed another pilgrim into uh, an hamburger. I went inside, a lady, a French lady asked me, um, um, she offered me, some deals and she said um we're gonna charge you 15 euros for a bed for dinner and also breakfast 15 euros for dinner breakfast and a bed Jeez, with 15 with 15 dollars I, I don't think I, I, I can buy anything in canada you know? nah. <laughs> so of course of course i check in and when they served uh, as they served the dinner let me see, they got, they made like a five courses. Wow, five for 15 courses. euros? Yes, big soup, salad, even goat cheese. Even nowadays, I can still remember the flavor of the goat cheese in my mouth. Wow. Wow. Uh, it, it was fantastic, fantastic um, dinner I, I had. So it was really, really good one. And, uh, and you know, every day, a pilgrim menu, yeah. and they were like a 10 euros, eh? 10 euros. I, I, I enjoy them very much. Um, that reasonable price doesn't discount any quality of the food. I like the freshness of the salad. I like the rich, the rich of the soup. So I myself, I enjoy it very much. And after a few days after walking Camino, I, I realized one thing, I'm not going to lose weight. <laughs> after the whole trip, I might gain some. I may gain. I may. I might gain a few pounds after <laughs> after walking Camino. <laughs> it's because you got the wine as well. Because with every pilgrim meal, 
You know, I mm-hmm. think the wine is cheaper than the than the water. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me let me give you another another story. Okay. Um. So one night after Pamplona, I had a, I, I went to I went to a restaurant for for dinner. I order I order fish as my main course, and when the waiter served me, made at the table, uh, uh, he he gave me a bottle of wine, and, and I told him, oh, I didn't order any wine, and he said, oh, the dinner the dinner comes with a, a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh. I can't believe it, a bottle of wine, you know, to buy a bottle of wine for in Canada. For one person. For one, yes, for one person. <laughs> and I couldn't finish it. And he said, oh, it's okay. If you cannot finish the bottle of wine, you can take it home. <laughs> you, can, you can take it with you. Wow. So from that day, I, I told myself, I'm going to enjoy wine whenever <laughs> I have a chance. <laughs> so wine for breakfast, wine for yes. lunch. <laughs> Yeah, that's why yeah. no one loses weight. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> so so cheap, eh? With one or two euros, you can have a bottle of wine. Yeah. So after I returned to Canada, um, you know, I, I, I didn't buy any bottle of wine in first month after I returned to Canada. They were so they are so expensive here. Yeah. Compared with wine in, in Spain. And England's the same. So it's so right? expensive. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, okay. Right. Would you say this might be a personal question? You don't have to answer it. Would you say mm-hmm. you're um, a spiritual person or a religious person at all? Uh, no, I don't have any religious beliefs. No, I, I don't. Um, so, um, do you... and, uh, and I know there are a lot, a lot of people walking Camino in terms of religious reasons or spiritual reasons. For me, I, I don't think I'm even, I'm not even a spiritual person or, or spiritual reasons to walk Camino. I simply took Camino as my adventure. You like That's your adventure? The, yes, yes. That's one of the reasons, one of the two reasons. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. When, when you got into Santiago, how did you finish? Uh, was that with friends? Was you on your own? or? Oh. I spent my last seven days or last ten days with uh, one guide, Mark from uh, from Czechoslovakia, and the other lady, uh, a lady of thirty years old, roughly like uh, in early thirties, from Ger- from Germany. Okay. We three we spent a week together, so we walked into Camino. I walked into Camino, uh, San, Di- uh, San Diego with them. Right. So we okay. we got got there. Uh, simultaneously. And, and mm. the Portuguese route? Uh, so um, did you, Portuguese. Did you uh, walk that on your own or? No, no, I had a friend. I have been joined me from Porto. So me and uh, me and my friend, we walk into Camino at the same time. Okay. So I, you, I'm not by myself. Did you feel the same sense of achievement both times? Yes, yes, yes. So definitely, definitely. Very emotional. Even for the, my second trip, still I felt emotional. Okay, you know, that's the young words, you know. It's, it's an achievement, isn't it? And it, you see, yeah. and it suddenly it's there, and it's just like, wow, this is just amazing. And also a dream came true, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah to most people, it, 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 it's a, a dream came, came true. Mm. So if you were not religious, did you still do the, the pilgrim mass in the cathedral? Um, yes, I, I did. I did. Yeah, why not? Uh, for me, it, it's a thing I have never, I've never, I've never seen, and not a chance to participate. So I don't mind. But I, I, I don't know in the future I would, if I would become uh, religious or not. But I, I, I enjoy the the religion stuff very much. Okay, uh, I mean, it's, it's something that's very peaceful, I think, in, yeah, in that's the cathedral. True. Saying that there's a lot of a lot of people there. Did you see the swingy thing? You know the yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> How did they call that? How did they call that? I can't uh, remember. <laughs> Everyone's going to be screaming at us watching this. It's called the. <laughs> so we we call it the big swingy thing. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone we we it. all knew that. I knew that from the movies, from the film, the way, and yeah. the, to to see it in person. To feel the vibe of the in, 
the, the entire cathedral. That, that was different. That it was is, different. It's, it is an amazing sight. And yeah. again, it's quite emotional watching that. So That's true. That's true. All right, confession mm. time. How many times have you seen the film The Way? Uh, only once. You just saw it that once? You've not seen it again since? Um, n no, no, no. Um, I would like to, but uh, if I have a chance, uh, I would like to watch it again. So I believe for my second watch, I, I can learn something or know something more about the, the movie or the intention yeah. uh, of the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you? Too many times, I think. <laughs> Do you, do, you know, do you know what I did on my um, second, when my first solo trip? They, the Way has actually got a um, like an album, so you mm -hmm. can listen to the album. So I got my earphones in on the oh. Mesetta part. I was just listening to yeah the songs from the Way, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. or I was listening. Oh. I've got the film downloaded on my phone. So I see. I, so I see. that's a bit sad. I know. <laughs> I, I, I I have one question for you. Yeah. Um, do you feel same? Um, when you rewatch the, the the film, do you have the same feel, same feeling about about the film, or every time you watch you watch it, you have a different feeling about it or about the movie? I think I think when you've walked it, you watch it to reminisce. It's like oh, I've been there and I've been there. <laughs> oh, I know where that is. Or yeah. you or you criticize it a little bit. It's like you know he's in he's in like Zubiri, and then the next thing mm. is they've got a shot of him outside the Orison um, and the uh, and you know it's backwards. So, yes, yes. So there it's a certain, movie, eh? It, yeah, they're, movie. they're making a film, but it still gets my heartstrings. It's still mm -hmm, a, mm -hmm. an awesome film, you know. I see. So yeah, I, I'd say, yeah. and it's they get to Burgos, and his his bag gets stolen. It's like oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, it, it's not a real part of the life, eh? Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's inserted it's in the movie. Yeah, yeah. It is, but it's, it's still a good film. Um, yeah, okay, so sure. your most memorable um, story of the Camino, do you have something that you perhaps haven't shared with us yet that you think, oh, God, I need to tell people about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the most memorable, uh, memorable time on my first Camino is my day three. Okay. Uh, after, after Pamplona, uh, let me see, after, well, after Pamplona, I was walking towards... Zubiri. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, that, that's the day before Pamplona, uh, from Rosen... Rosen... Ros Rosen Bayes. The Zavendias, yeah. And it was the day towards Pamplona. By around, like, four or five o'clock, uh, me, a Dutch guy called Oliver, and another German, and a German boy, 23-year-old German boy called Florian. Three of us got to got to Rurian, Ru Ru which is seven kilometers before Pamplona. We got there. I was tired, but I, I also believe they, they too, Oliver and Florian, they were also tired. I didn't... I only ate, I only had uh, two pieces of toast in the morning. I was starving. But to bed, the only a burger uh, had been closed for the season. And the only restaurant was also closed. Oh, God. Uh, so we couldn't find anything to eat. We were, we were discussing to go or to stay, to go or to stay. And when we were talking, when we were discussing, a uh, French couple passed by and they hitchhiked. They, they, they hitchhiked and they got, they were successful. Uh, we saw them uh, get onto a car and someone uh, took them somewhere. So I was thinking, oh shoot, maybe I, I, I should, uh, hitchhike. I should uh, hitchhike, yes. But uh, eventually we, we, we decided to stay there. Um, the problem is we had nothing to eat. Um, but on the patio of that, the Eberger restaurant. There are some grapes, ripe grapes. So we took some grapes for, 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 you know, for snack for dinner. And before it, around, I would say around like a five thirty or six o'clock, it, it, it was it, it was getting dark. 
a village, a young village came to us, and he, you know, he he chatted with the the Dutch guy um, Oliver. Oliver could speak four languages: the German, That's Dutch. Nice. You know, they 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 are amazing. Eh? They uh, he also he also uh, speaks English, and so they uh, they talk a lot. And after a while, that guy, that village, young, that, that young village, came back. Uh, came back to to the patio uh, with with what? With with half loaf of toast, with some with a can of beer, a big chunk of cheese, and also uh, with some nuts, like some some nuts. Okay, so we enjoy we enjoy that dinner. We enjoy those foods. We have two, and we did enjoy enjoy them. Um, I, you know, I appreciate. I, I was so appreciating, you know, his appearance, and it was very, very cold night. I still remember it was close to like two or three degrees that night. Yeah. And you slept outside. Outside, outside. Oh, we are. We we. Okay. We actually stayed overnight on a patio, but unfortunately, that patio has a roof. Okay. So we, 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 we don't we don't know, we don't really spend the night outdoor or under the sky. So at least this is roof. But it was so cold. Oliver, he put two like a beer case, plastic beer case together as his bed. And the German guy, uh, Florian, simply put a mat on the patio. Uh, he slept on the patio um, on, on his mat. And me, I put together two wooden benches together as my bed. Um, but the thing is my, my sleeping bag, I didn't expect to sleep outdoor. And my sleeping bag could, always, could only, uh, it's only good for three degrees or not, not, not colder now. And the, so it was so cold. I, we sneak in, I sneak into, into my, my sleeping bag. I know I never, never forced. I never, never fell asleep. I was always half awake. I have a full blade of a pee inside me, but it was too cold. I didn't want to go outside. <laughs> oh, and I was waiting. I, 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 I was waiting for the coming of the next morning until someone deliver, uh, until I, I hear the sound of a motorcycle passing by. And I know it's time to wake up. It was, uh, it was around six o'clock in the morning. So that night it was so cold. But one thing I, sh- I learned from that night, there are two things I, I learned from that night. The very important lesson on my Camino, sharing. It was so, it is so good to share with people with the little food. You share the food with other people, with your friends. Um, it's, it's so meaningful. That's, that's so important to share with people, okay? Yeah. Not no matter how much you have, even you have a little food, you can still sh- do sharing. Huh? And second thing is, I have to go with the floor from Oliver, from Florian. I know I don't need a specific place for overnight. Anywhere, you, you, can, you can stay, you can sleep anywhere you want, right? Even on a patio, even outdoor, even in the bush. You remember Jason? Yeah. Jason mentioned he spent his first night <laughs> in the mountains. Hi, Jay, he's eh? Hopefully he's watching this, uh, but his interview was last week, so he mm-hmm. was telling us that story about staying outside. Yes. So, um, so from them, I, know, uh, I, I learned I have to be brave. I shouldn't be afraid of staying outdoor. That's why when I took my second Camino in Portugal, I spent many nights walking not, not, I, I spent a lot of time walking in the dark in the woods, but yeah. I didn't I, I didn't feel anything at all. This is a very important lesson I learned from my day three with the day three is the day with uh, Florian and Oliver. That's that's such an amazing story. I didn't know that story, so that's just and to know that you've taken lessons from that as well that you can mm-hmm. use when you're back home. So, that's true. Sharing is really important, yeah, and going with the flow. And you you do that? Is that how you live your life now? Uh, Pretty much, pretty much, yes, yes. That's brilliant. Um, uh, I think 
this is a big lesson eh? we learned from Camino, and of course, I want to apply it in my in my daily life. So I try to do my best to share what I have or what I know uh, with my friends. Right. Well, you're doing exactly that today. <laughs> so if somebody is watching this, if they're someone that you is thinking, okay, they've perhaps they've seen the film The Way, and they're mm-hmm. really thinking about should I or shouldn't I, or you know, I'm really scared. I'm on my own. Um, I, I don't know whether I should do this or not. What What would you say to them? Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. It's much easier than you you think. You know, you're not alone. Walking Camino isn't isn't by yourself. You've got a lot of friends to be you know to be friend. You've got a lot of interesting to explore even the sceneries even stories are amazing stories amazing people from all over the world you will you will see so just go for it just go don't, for it. yeah just go for it there you go no, that's everything what ted says just go for it so if anyone's listening to this <laughs> just go for it <laughs> just go for it okay and there was another lesson you learned which is also your quote of the day which i think is an actually a great way of actually ending the show because we're tight our time's up we've been talking for nearly 15 mm-hmm. minutes according to the uh, thing crazy <laughs> isn't it so um can you share with us your quote of the day okay um before we got to camino i saw a quote on a wall on a white wall and it says as you start to love the road you hate the idea of getting there. Oh, I, I totally, I totally <laughs> understand what the writers felt, you know. So, um, and also before I, I arrived in San Diego, me um, and my friend, two friends, oh, okay. Uh, I mentioned them, um, Stefana from from Germany and the other the other guy, uh, Mark, Mark from Czechoslovakia. We intentionally slowed down our pace because I didn't want to get there too early. Just like the quarter says, yeah. I want to I want to enjoy every minute, every minute um, before I before I before I got there. That's such an important uh, quote as well. And yeah. it's, it, we yeah, we do enjoy it. It's not about the destination. It's about just enjoying those moments. And I think, do you remember my friend Julie? Of course. Yeah, so Julie in this last Camino, she just absorbed every single little part of the Camino. She she Mm. spent like three hours just watching a saxophone player and doing some dancing just on her own and stuff like that. Uh, And it's something that I missed I was like always about getting to the next place and seeing what time I can get there. And yeah, it's mm-hmm. not something that I've still not, not quite got there. So uh, <laughs> I should also take that message with me. I'll have it tattooed on my forehead. So, <laughs> so, no, so every, everyone's well, different. Uh, everyone's different. I, I know, but I really should take, I really should do that. So say that quote once again, just so that we can have. Okay. When you start, to love the road, you start to hate the idea of getting there. There you go. That's a brilliant way to end it. Do you know, you've been an absolutely amazing pilgrim and um, I'm proud to call you my friend as well, or my amigo. <laughs> um, so I just want to uh, wish you all the best for your next Camino, which is probably going to be early next year by the sound of it. Um, yeah, I wish. Yeah. And I shall see you on Facebook. And that just leaves me to say, Buon Camino. Buen camino. <laughs> Hasta luego. Oh, okay, bye bye. <laughs> Enjoy your cafe uh, con leche. I will, I will. You have a great day, my friend. Take care. I miss you. Okay. Yeah, Please say hi too. to Rachel for me as well. I will, Thank you. I will. Take Thank care. You. Take care, bye bye. Yeah.